we were able to collect all these signatures in less than in, in 32 days. Racine's Green Party co-chair says those 5,000 signatures are proof the city wants change in its marijuana laws. While our cameras were rolling, so you just sign here. Another signature at their office. The group's plan would allow up to 25 grams of marijuana in Racine if you're using it at home or at a friend's house. 25 grams of weed would essentially fill this standard size Ziploc bag to the top. New York Magazine reports it would have a street value of about 300 bucks. Even though changing city code would not protect you from state charges, Maldonado says it sends a message. The reality is that, again, the people have spoken once again that they're ready to move forward. We reached out to Racine police over the past two days, but never heard back. The Green Party plans to turn in those signatures by August 2nd. The decision could be up to voters in the spring. In Racine, Ben Wagner, WISN 12 News. Right now in Racine, possessing 25 grams of marijuana or less carries a $225 fine. The Green Party proposal would drop that fine to $1, though police can still refer the case to prosecutors for criminal charges under state law. I now present to you Jeffrey Dahmer in his command performance. We're getting our first look at a new movie about serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. It's called My Friend Dahmer. A teaser trailer for the movie was just released. Jeff's a little off, you know. I think he's kind of hilarious. Oh my God. I like bones. It interests me. What's inside? I see things in you that I don't like about myself. The movie tells the story of Dahmer as a tormented high school student in Ohio before he moved to Milwaukee in 1982 and went on to kill 17 men and boys. Disney Channel star Ross Lynch takes on the role of Dahmer. It is based on a graphic novel written by one of Dahmer's childhood friends. Only on WISN 12 News, Colleen Henry talked to the author in April at the movie's premiere in New York City. When I was writing the book, I mean, this is a guy that I knew. So this is a guy I gave rides home from school. And the Dahmer that I knew, the Jeff that I knew, he committed no crime. So I realized that he eventually became a monster, but he wasn't always a monster. People can look at this situation of a man who will eventually become a monster, and hopefully it opens up their heart a little bit more for other children that may be troubled, and that someone in the community the teachers, the parents, friends may be able to identify it a little bit earlier and help someone out. The movie is expected to be released this fall. A crime victim fights back after a brutal beating with brass knuckles in Greenfield. These are pictures of the victim which she wanted released before and after, hoping they help lead to her attackers. Police say two people approached her car outside a grocery store Friday. As she sat talking on her phone, things suddenly changed. Basically a tough guy uh, blindsided a female with a pair of brass knuckles and uh, struck her several times while trying to take her purse in her car. The victim shot pepper spray at the man. He and his female accomplice got nothing. Police are looking for this woman, a suspect in a crime nearby, who matches the accomplice's description in this attack. He's a young one. He's going back home to mommy. Oh, is he in trouble? He's in trouble. That's President Trump tonight talking about a protester as he addressed supporters during a campaign-style event in Ohio. The president was interrupted several times. During his speech, he talked about today's vote in the Senate on health care. We're now one step closer to liberating our citizens from this Obamacare nightmare. <laughs> and delivering great health care for the American people. And now a live look from Washington, D.C. Senate Republicans voted to begin debate on health care reform with no votes to spare. The vice president cast the tie-breaking vote. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson's vote made it a 50-50 tie. Senator Johnson had an animated conversation with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor just moments before Johnson cast a yes vote. We talked to him afterward from Washington about why he voted yes. If we didn't proceed to a bill, the process would have ended and the mess that is Obamacare would have remained in place. And so, so we have to keep continuing on the process. And again, what I was trying to point out to Leader McConnell is I want to have a positive input into that process.
A standing ovation for Senator John McCain as he walked into the Senate chamber today. The Arizona Republican returned for the first time today since he was diagnosed with brain cancer. He said he'll be in Washington for a few days. After that, I'm going home for a while to treat my illness. I have every intention of, re of returning here and giving many of you cause to regret all the nice things you said about me. <laughs> and I hope to impress on you again that it is an honor.